All right, we're back. Um, I left off telling you that I would teach you how to make your own, uh, process your world in D-Edit. Let's start off with a few flags that we've got to cover over. Process, world process. You should have apply lighting, shadows, Lambertine light maps, full optimization, fast approximation, import texture flags, which will also enable fixed T junctions. These should all be um, checked off right now and nothing else. When you want your map to show up very high detailed, you can uncheck fast approximation and fully optimize it, which may just pretty much just increases the quality of it. But right now these these two checked off works for us. For your project directory, this will be where your AVP2 folder, the one where um in the Alien vs Predator 2 folder, there's one that's in capital letters saying AVP2. This is pretty much what they're talking about. And the project directory for this, for you, if you've default, uh, installed it in the default C directory, would be C Progra, whatever that is, 1 dash fox dash aliens, whatever that is, 1 dot pre dot uh, dash slash Oh, whatever AVP2 or maybe that's slash whatever I, I, I really could not care less right now alright but for me it's F what uh, WB because I dual booted um, alright so now that we've got our world directory there's another parameter and extra parameters we've got to cover and that is no snap no CSG I'll copy down um, the project directory and the extra parameter for you in the in the description Oh, uh, shroom signed in. Um, <coughs> just talk to him right now. Do 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 do. Uh, our clan leader. Do 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 do. Shroom, if you're watching this, sorry, I can't talk right now. Just making the tutorial. Probably gonna find us out in a second. Sorry about that, guys. Hope he's not pushed off. Well, anyways, I'll copy these um, for you in a set. Um, I'll put these in the direct uh, these parameters for you in the description as well. Now that you've got all your flags checked off and all the parameters okay, we will um, first off just um, with no snap, no CSG comes a very important. Um, rule that you should use which is whenever using this function all your textures ev every brush everything has got to be set to no snap things like world properties and stuff that just show up in these black boxes these really can't be um, no snapped these just show up when the map compiles and you run it but for brushes you've got to set you have just select them all in top view and hit true alright Hit U to unselect all the brushes, go down to World, Process, and hit OK. And what this will, just uh, check something right here. Wait for the beep, that, that'll tell you that it's done. Found zero problem brushes. This is what you're going to want to see to know that your map will run at all. Because if, if that does not show up, it will not run in any way, shape, or form. Alright using Lambertine means that everything's lighted up it, it, it's it's kinda like um, a, a different lighting texture but I'll, I'll go into that later alright you can see right here that the game start point world properties show up the shell bros shows up and your just regular world brush shows up we're gonna go to edit options run and where it says executable go to your C program files Fox Alien vs Predator 2 folder, and inside of that should be a program called lithtech.x. When you browse for it and you're in the Alien vs Predator 2 folder, it will show up kind of as a red over um, red upside down diamond sort of thing. You'll see it right here. Select that, and you should be all all set. 
for working directory would be C program files Fox Alien vs Predator 2. I'll put um, this as well as the program arguments which just tells you to run the world using the AVP2 res folder. Um, I'll, I'll put these all in the descriptions but you should have C program files Fox Alien vs Predator 2 if you installed it in the default directory and these program arguments in here if um, just to run the world. Hit OK and right now we are all set to run. I'm, I'm not sure if this um, world right now will uh, if it will show up but like in, in a debut without it being wicked slow but I'll, I'll just test it for now. Alright hit the run button right here and a lift tech box should pop up right around here. We'll, we'll know in a second. Give it some time. You've got to process this first. Oh, here we go. Process this, this first, though, before you can even test out the map. Oh, I'm hungry. I am hungry. Waiting for it to load. A pulse rifle should show up as the AVP2 Marine loading screen thing. Uh, just wait a couple seconds. Do, 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 do. Again, you know, thank you all for watching this tutorial. I hope I didn't go over the limit too much. Um, you know, just this this stuff takes time and practice, and it's just a really fun compiler to use. Just you know, I, I've used it for like two years now, and it's it, it's pretty fun, pretty fun tutorial uh, thing. And AVP2, the game itself, is fun. Given the size of the world. Um, we should be all set and it should load relatively quickly. Let's just wait for it to show up. Everything should show up. There should be no black spots anywhere and everything should be all set. I just hope this works because last tutorial I just saw black. Ah, and here we go. We have just basic lighting. Everything shows up as it should. Sound works. Um, obviously, sound works. You can move around. You know, you know, just add weapons or whatever. To, you know, maybe some AI. Shoot out. Maybe a multiplayer map. Um, just not much. Not that many limitations to do in the edit if you know how to use the tools. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Th thanks a lot for watching my tutorial and as you would any other AVP2 thing. Back to uh, the edit for Talon, still open and stuff. Might take you a little while to get back to all the controls being normal and there we go. Alright, thanks for watching.